What is up guys, I am Samar and welcome back to another dose of tech. So HP announced two really good and looking you know laptops, well specced. So far the starting prices have been good as well. We have namely the HP Omen 15, a revised, completely revised edition which I'll be talking about in this video. And another video I'll be talking about the Pavilion 16, their first ever 16 inch gaming laptop. Now talking about the Omen 15, it starts at $1,000. Probably the least spec, but it's good to know HP producing because they, their past Omen have been quite, you know, pricey. But this looks somewhere affordable, not budget, but somewhere affordable. But the question is, is it worth buying from HP? That's one. Two, this is their first ever laptop that supports 300 hertz refresh rate. Yes, you heard it right. 300 refresh per second so f wow that is uh, that's quite a feat honestly speaking for uh, you know for he setting the bar high because most gaming companies don't really go that high they'll be okay they'll just put 144 hertz that's what everyone wants but the fact that there's an option you know this product has an option where it supports 300 hertz now the question is always there is it going to be good asus have been the first in releasing higher refresh rate laptops for a while first to do 120 first to do 144 first to do 300 as well but the fact that you can only put you know toned down components in a laptop so will that support what the screen is asking for we all know max q versions of gpus have been are used and they have 30 40 percent less power than a desktop gpu and if you look clearly Honestly speaking, if you put a laptop 300 hertz, I guess a desktop with a monitor 300 hertz, it, it, the difference is quite clear. You know, the, what a laptop might be able to achieve, yes, it's great. It can go there, but I don't think it will stick to 300 hertz. You know, keep on coming down, keep on going up. That's one. Two. Not every game requires that much high refresh rate. Espe you know, especially if they're not not demanding games. You know, lol doesn't demand such a high refresh rate rainbow six i think at 240 hertz it's enough for or even 144 hertz is enough for you to really enjoy rainbow the dota overwatch you know these are not demanding games as compared to battlefield where yeah okay then you might actually be there okay shit it's reaching it's going 300 hertz going above so going past what i've just said let's look through the specs now granted i don't have the products um, i cannot afford them but the fact that i just like talking about them i hope you find this informative in any way if i do in the future you know if this channel does grow and uh, i can finally afford buying them then i will definitely be you know getting these products and be reviewing them live because that would be way better but let's just see what they're offering so far so they said this omen 15 comes in two different variants and what i mean by that is one is amd supported while the, other, while the other one is Intel supported. The AMD can be opted to either Ryzen 5 or the Ryzen 7, the Intel, Intel i5 or the i7. All, all the two variants are the latest generations of their, you know, respected processors, the latest. So more processing power as compared to last year. Talking about the RAM, there is more RAM options in the Intel 8, 16 or 32 while in the AMD you can only support all the way up to 16 gigabytes. Also when it comes into the GPU, the AMD only supports 1650 Ti, 1660 Ti, the GTX versions, and 2060 Max-Q, RTX. While the Intel supports the 1660, 2060, and then 2070, so there is that. The storage is the same for both, 256, 512, or one terabyte SSD. Now coming to the most important part, display. If you go for the AMD, you can only get one type of display and that is 144 Hertz IPS, uh, the 1920 by 1080p IPS panel, 300 nits, anti-glare certified. This is the only option available in, under AMD, AMD, you know, section. If you go for the Intel, that's where you have the higher refresh rate options. You can get the 120, you can get the 144, or you can go all the way to 300 Hertz, depending on you know you want if you can afford the 300 hertz well why not when there's such a good option available why go for the low one when you can afford it or there is an oled display yes there's an amoled 4k display 
which not good for gaming but you know if you're one of those photographers you know video editors an OLED display does the job very well coming to the port selection so as you can see on the screen the port selection so an SD card a Thunderbolt 3 a, ty a three type A USBs a Ethernet cable a HDMI and a headphone jack support so and a mini display port so they hit that jackpot in terms of the port selection they're all of them are available you know the more the merrier that's what i say when it comes to port easy access easy connectivity and that's that looking at the laptop you can see that each of the key single zone or four zone per key rgb lighting control the keyboard has 1.25 millimeter travel the keys sorry that can only be tested when the, the keyboard is there to t test but you know I prefer a keyboard which can actually travel because if, if it just a little bit the typing doesn't feel fluid and from the way it looks it, you know it doesn't look like a compacted keyboard it looks like it's very spaced out even the, the arrow keys don't look so small those I hate those tiny uh, arrow keyboards they look separate you know though the, though the numpad is not there but that is you know a 17 inch thing i don't even care about the numpad question for everyone do you actually use a numpad because i have a full keyboard and i can count the number of times i've actually used the numpad but let me know all right coming to the battery a 73 79.3 watts hour a 200 watts adapter so it's going to be a big adapter the colors for the intel one comes with what they call a shadow black while the AMD supported comes in silver something they call it I don't know it's a silver you know, oriented color so coming to the weight the AMD is 2.46 kilogram and the Intel is 2.45 kilogram it's not heavy and uh, two kilogram laptop is not that heavy to be honest if it was above three then yeah I would be like okay that's kind of weight to carry but so far so good the price given to it is a thousand dollars that's a starting price so but i'm sure the more you opt for higher specs the more expensive it's going to get uh let me know what you think you know is it worth the price buying an hp gaming laptop you know would you spend a fourteen hundred dollar for a gaming laptop from hp as compared to msi acer has their own really good gaming line the rogue series is one of the best gaming line series in my opinion my opinion what i mean by that is a company that is not gamer you know dedicated where their main customer target is gamers or you know people who just want a laptop for you know gaming sake let me know what you think if you did enjoy this video please do give it likes and please do subscribe I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers hopefully and uh, i know i don't have the products and most people might just think i am just saying shit out but hey it's just something i can't afford right now but please do do leave your suggestions and i hope you enjoyed this one catch you guys in the next one peace